Okay. So now back to what you had brought up, Stargate. It's like $500 billion to create an mRNA vaccine print press, I think. What is this? Do you know what this is? I, 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 I... I don't, I don't People are really. are flipping the F out. Yeah, well, there, I mean, so. I can't, for, I don't get, I, okay. People are flipping out for a number of reasons. Yeah. A, you know, we've already talked about all the reasons that the mRNA platform is not ready for prime time and probably never will be. Like, it Probably never old. will be. Okay. I, I think so. Like, that's, that's my opinion, but um, certainly it's not ready now. This, though, coming in an era before which, because I hope it is happening, before which there has been that acknowledgement. So in an era when these people are still pushing boosters from Pfizer and Moderna on people, they think it's working. They think it's effective. They still think it's safe and effective. It's neither. So that platform is now being proposed to be part of a mRNA personalized uh, vaccine for cancer. Well, again, Still not a vaccine in the traditional way, but also vaccine for cancer. Those words together don't make any sense because right. what they're talking about doing is going like, okay, we see that you have produced, you know, you, one of your one of your cell lines is producing something that we're calling cancerous and it's out of control and we're going to try to stop it. Great. Let's do that because cancer is obviously a big problem for, for people. Let's stop it. We're going to go in, we're going to get the code for that, and we are going to create a way over here in our lab to, I don't even know, I don't know what they're proposing to do. They want to so find your cells that are producing, that are, that are cancerous. Got it. And make a, like a printing press over here with the mRNA and probably stabilize it again and then put it back into you, but they still don't have the capacity to localize it where it needs to be localized. And it's not a vaccine because you've already got the thing. And like, I'm sure I'm well, missing so some pieces of it. Vaccine is meant are... to prevent it. But this wouldn't be like right. immunotherapy where they take your own immune cells, train them to kill your type of cancer, turbocharge them, put them back yeah. in your body. That's not this. Is there a situation in which with more technology than we currently have, this could be an excellent last resort for people with right. uh, metastatic cancer that you know that cannot be attacked with the means that we currently are using, which are really gross in terms like gross versus fine. Like they're they're very scattershot and you know like chemo and radiation. Right. The hope is that it kills the cancer before it kills you. Got it. And so this could be targeted if we had the ability to target it, but we don't, and we're pretending that we do. And frankly, I don't trust the people who are imagining that AI is our future and our savior to understand the complexity of human bodies enough not to create many more problems. So, I, you know, I also have a, frankly, somewhat unnuanced reaction of like, oh, God, no, keep that away from all of us, with the one caveat that there with a bit more understanding, which I hope we develop, there is a possibility for this maybe to be useful for people in end-stage cancer when yes. all else has failed. I get it. I kind like, of feel I, that at that way point, about at that point, why not? Like in my line of work, it's like, all right, if you're morbidly obese, you have advanced type 2 diabetes, you have atherosclerosis, you, you, you know, you're fatty liver disease, dysfunctional vagus nerve, you tried everything, you're on death's door. At that point, well, you know, with Ozempic, like, okay, <laughs> go. That's where you, you twist my arm on it for sure. I don't know where we yeah. end up down the road, but I would absolutely be willing to say in, in this cost-benefit analysis, for sure, if you've tried everything and nothing's worked, roll the dice on it. Um, so I see what you're saying. Like, if you're going to die anyway, if there's hope here, considering that the end of the alternative is death, okay, maybe. Right. Understood. But... but just like with Ozempic, just like with all those GLP-1 agonists, like, okay, maybe that is where it started. But now you've got totally healthy people on, on these drugs, yes. which, boy, like that, it, it is, it does feel like COVID vaccines number two. And obviously it's a totally different system, totally different mechanism of action, but it's a disaster across the board. And, you know, may, maybe exactly as you say, you know, obese, uh, right. atherosclerosis, you know, fatty liver disease, like, if, you know, all of these things may be okay, but for no one else should those drugs be, be going into arms or, or mouths.
They just should not be.